I mean, we both want to come together and buy the car and if we can make something happen on it. What do you guys think? We can come up with 60 cash. I'm, give, I'm giving 30 cash. And then I'll give him the card. At work? I don't know. 40 trade, you put up 30. One last thing. Would you be interested in this if we wanted to work it into this? But again, if you don't want to do it, no, it's just something we've thought about. Like. Probably prefer just to take it the cash deal that you guys would offer me. Gotcha. Of the okay. Exquisite. No worries. Okay. Just let us know if you change your mind. Thanks, brother. Look at this, guys. It's Saturday morning, about 8 a.m. You know, dealers are starting to set up. We have done really good, especially yesterday, man. We uh, started the morning strong. We bought some crazy shit. So hopefully we can uh, kill it today as well. And let's see what happens, man. You never know what's going to happen, so I'm really excited. So here we go. Morning, brother. Come on, dude. texted me. He's like, yo, what's the word? I haven't seen him yet, so once he comes, I'll see what he wants to do, and we'll go from there. I mean, I think we're fairly close, so probably be able to work something. Let's do it. I appreciate it, brother. Thank it's just you. my mind. Running out of patience, though. I'm always in the race. Never take it slow. Never been, never fold, never break for show. Whatever don't kill me, dog, only make me grow. Whatever don't break me, dog, only make me angry. And never try to copy, because you obviously ain't me. I'm only in the mood to get better than the... I think Duncan has, like, a lot of room, to be honest with you. Two for the, the Duncan Chrome PSA 9. For sure, bro. What up, brother? Well, I came from sneakers. Okay, I so you already know, like, you you have I that mindset, yeah, 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 like, is, you know what I mean? Like, if that happens, like, they're gonna be, like, 75, 80%. Or you're a dealer and you just put your shit out, and, you know what I mean? It was good talking to you, brother. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, brother. How you doing? Thanks for getting me back in the hobby, bro. No, no, I appreciate it, man. You too, yeah. great. It's the last refractor. I've had so many people asking about it. You really want to sell for us 35? What do you have that would entice me to want to trade or not? What did it sell at? Last sale was 17. The PSA 9 with lights are I'm looking like around. I, I don't want it. I don't want to do this. It's a sweet card. Like, I look at this as 35 cash, and if I trade down, I'd have to have value on this. No. I mean, the option will end tomorrow night. Oh, hit me yeah. up after that. See what it ends up. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you. All right, Nadine Ruzel, break down the trade for us. So basically, we were trying to trade for the LeBron. He was basically at 35K cash. Didn't really want to trade. We were trying to go like half cash, half trade on it. So currently, there's one on eBay uh, ending tomorrow night at like 30,000, I believe. We're kind of estimating it goes for like 33,000 ish. I mean, he's at 35, so we're hoping to snag it, but. Yeah. I mean, we're basically we're trying to trade into it. We don't want to pay 35 cash for it, but it's just one of those things where we both decided to walk away. So sometimes you got to walk away. So it wasn't able to work out, but who knows? We'll see if we can pull something off later. All right, good shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. no, yeah. Because yeah. there's going to be times when you're going to be in the negative margin. You have to overpay. No, oh, I know. Two refractors. There's only two, and I am the last person. To this, this is the guy. And I, and I had to dunk it with it, black lady. It is what it is. At the end of the day, dude, I ain't taking none of it with me. I tell everybody, look, when I take my last breath and I wake up upstairs, wherever they may be, I'm gonna be able to look at God and be like, man, that was a fun ride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's it. You roll with it, that's it. I, yeah. I, I look at it like on a roller bike when you're uh, going on a slide at a football or something. You're kind of scared and scared. And then when, you, when it starts going, you're like, fuck, did I make the right decision? And then halfway down, you're like, this is fucking badass. <laughs> and then when you hit the bottom, right? You hit the bottom, you hit the water, and you pop up on the water, you're like, Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to be like when I And I keep thinking that because there's those moments like, fuck, I should have done that, should have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if this would have been like that? I'm like, you know what? That's a fucking badass ride. Sense. And I'm like him. I started, yeah. exact, I started 15 grand. Yeah. So we're on that same bar. So yeah. it's, a, it's a Bible verse that says, I don't want to be so poor to where I steal, but don't give me too much to where I forget who you are. Yeah. And that's kind of that intricate balance yeah. of humanity, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you don't want to be struggling because it's painful and you don't feel like it's fair. And it really isn't because nobody should struggle, struggle. Yeah. You want to put forth the effort, but you don't get less so much to the point to where you forget why you did it. And that's why I'm always reaching out to Sasha yeah. and other people. And I'm like, yeah. hey, man, let me help you out, dude. And yeah. I, saw, I would have never reached out to him, but I saw him grinding on Instagram. Yeah. He's always doing these little videos. Yeah. I noticed at first he only had like you know, 40, 50, 60 people viewing him. Yeah, yeah. He scoped this guy out a little bit. He kept posting, kept posting. His YouTube followers got a couple, two, three, four, yeah. five thousand. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, he's doing something. Then I reached out to him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, let me help you out, bro. You know, yeah, every day we're on calls and shit. <laughs> and I, I, I would, when I first, I would pester him. I, I messaged yeah, him yeah. and he would respond. I'm like, nope, this motherfucker's gonna listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wanna, I think my favorite part is probably this one. And I love these spotlights. You guys love these spotlights, bro. Dude, I think because, so here's a little history lesson. I'll make it real quick, right? Yeah. So the first sports image that won the Pulitzer Prize, Nat Finn took the farewell picture of Babe Ruth. It's really reminiscent of that. It's a back shot of Babe. It's and beautiful. It, and, and you can see the, the bands in the, in the foreground. Yeah. Of all the chronologies, all of them, even the patch autos, any autograph that Upper Deck made chronology for Kobe, 
That's the only BGS two. This is my favorite Kobe because this is before exquisite. So this is before cards became expensive that we know it. Yeah. So bef bef in 03, our game changed. Everything changed in 03. This was when you could still get a really cool card from a ten dollar pack. Yeah. Right. It's number to 25, it's a pop one. The next highest grade in Beckett or PSA is eight and a half, right? It's probably only worth 20 grand. But what I really like about it is, so now it's about the patch and then the card. The patch can drastically vary the value. And these are all came one color. The patch really is just an accessory point to the card. It's really about the card, it's not so much about the patch. Right. Whereas now that's not the case. Now it's all about patch and not the card. Not only that, but I really like the fluidity of the autograph. It's a lot different than you look at Kobe's other autographs. Yeah. The time wall, he kind of got messy. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's all in one. It's an in-action shot. It's a patch, but it's not about the patch. Low print run, top one, and again, the autograph is just, the, it's probably the most beautiful, most fluid autograph I have. I've owned a million dollar Kobe's, but sure. you know, but really this is probably my favorite Kobe that I, I have probably ever owned. Because when I look at it, A, it's a PSA 10 pop one. But it reminds me of when I was a kid, the busting packs. Yeah. Because I never could afford to bust exquisite. I mean, even now I could, but yeah. when, it, when I was younger in life, and it, it was still vibrant and fun, really, I could only afford this, and I would chase stuff like this. So that's where I have been most That's awesome. Time. That's a pop two. Most people don't realize that that's a pop two card. Like, that is so fun. Isn't it gorgeous? Dude, I was giving away. So I had like half of So the nine fives was only 25, and I had like a half dozen of them. So it's probably worth 12 grand, but I probably wouldn't sell it just because it's pop two. Yeah, a lot of these, and man, I'll tell you another one if you could ever find. You ever get to find one of these in a PSA 10? Not a 9.5, it's only seven. Did you see the raw one that Coleman had? Coleman has a raw one at 4,500. The auto's good. I didn't even look at the card. But there's only seven PSA 10s. No, 13 9.5s. These are uber rare. 13 9.5s, four PSA 10s. Fucking insane. That's a pop one. That's a pop one. What are these like value wise? Okay, so they made three variations. You have the base. Yes. You have the refractor. So I think this is a print run of 200. Okay. This is a print run of, they said, between 80 and 100. Okay. And you have the atomic refractor, which is a print run of 20 or 30. Yeah, that's gnarly. The atomic refractor, forget it. Seems that's literally a truly pop one. These are fire too. Like These are all bangers, dude. dude. I'm the only person on earth. So they made three variations uh, 200, uh, 275, 25. That's a pop two, so good luck. But, you know, I'm probably the only person that has to say it. I mean, that's a pop two. I bought that for 15 and a half. It's probably worth 50 now because a silver, I bought that for 5,800. A silver sold two weeks ago for 23,000, and it didn't even have a 10 on it. Yeah, I mean, this is probably 25 or 30. So this is a pop one. This right here. So I have a 9.5 of it. That's a pop three. You start looking at some of the cards. And most people don't realize how rare some of these are. Yeah, yeah. What's the number two? 125. <clears throat> but over 40 of them have smudged autos. Because he stacked them when he signed them. Where are these at? Or what are you valuing it at? Uh, with an auto like that, 21 to 25. You find a lot of them with smudged autos for 16. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. But these are crisp, yeah. Yeah. What are the ones? What's the story? I heard a story about the ones, like the last ones he signed or whatever. Okay, so yeah, so you had. Contenders? You had the impeccables. The Ooh, that's what I'm thinking about, the impeccables. But then he also signed the selects at the same time. And then he also signed, so you have impeccable selects, and then there was some, oh, the contenders like contenders, this. Contenders, right? yeah. Right. Total, there's probably like 1,200 of them. Yeah. I think the ones that will take on hold, so they made 10 impeccables that were patch autos, but they're one color. They're, they're, it's one color, there's only 10. Yeah. And then a one of one. I, Chase had two of them. This guy down there has got one. Um, he's got number eight or 10. I think over time, those will be the best out of all those last The Impeccables. Time. Well, just the, the Impeccables, are nice. some of them look good, but yeah. the patch on the ones. The patch on the ones, because yeah. Really? That, well, because think about it. The entire year of last year, right, all 2020, only one product line had a Kobe patch auto, and it was only 11 total cards made. Yeah. So how, there was 1,200 last Kobe autos. Sure, sure, sure. Two or three years from now, who's going to care? But the Impeccable, the Impeccables, I've always thought, and the patch autos were the ones that I like think, I mean, not of. Uh, uh, flawless national trade every product line at all they only made just one print run of 10 cards of patch autos that's crazy i mean and they're single color patches right they're all single color they're all that's now the one of one is a, a laundry tag i know where that is it's not for sale so you have 10 cards really to pick from 
And I think as time goes on, when you look at it, and people go, dude, I mean, he only made, he, for the whole year, there's only 10 match order codes. It might take three years before it's profitable. Bro, at some point, that's going to be a store. It just, it, the store just bears. Bangers. So, that's this is part this of the is sick. Right? That's a pop one. This is a pop one gold right here. These are pop two. And that's why I won't split them up. This is probably one of the most aesthetically beautiful cards I have ever seen in my entire life. Crazy. I mean, it's just, a lot of people like the sapphires, or I've owned sapphires. That just says, like at some point when you get to paying so much money, that just says class, you know? <laughs> this one right here, this is, I didn't even want this card. My buddy begged me to buy it. Like I did with you, just yeah, yeah. buy it, yeah. right? So this is actually from a 1996 rookie jersey. What? After the 96 season, the Lakers changed their, patch, their uh, jersey manufacturer. So they did from, I think, 89 to 96, and then they changed manufacturers. So this is last year Penny did the flawless patch auto for Kobe. So the last eight they did all are the letters for Brian. So it's, there's no way, you can tell they didn't change patch yeah. all the letters, right? And it's really identifiable, that the lettering. So this is probably one I'll never sell, just because it's a rookie jersey patch. Crazy. And it's number eight of eight. That's I paid, I paid 10 grand. For it. But this is before he passed away, this is 2017, right? So but yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, dude, these are, like I said, they're bangers that expire. Up until six months ago, I had 14, there's only 20 PSA 10s ever graded over the five years total. Up until like six months ago, I had 20, I mean, I had 14 of the 20. And I had to sell them to get the value to go up. Because I had so many, they just never surfaced. That's the kind of thing that makes no sense to me. What you just said, where you're like, I have to put them out to make the value go up. That's crazy. It's, but, but then it's, it makes a ton nobody, of sense. Nobody so, knows. I on, nobody knows. Nobody yeah, knows. 14, I can sit on 140. I can sell half and then be sitting on 300,000 with the other seven. Once those other seven up and out, they circulate, right? Yeah. It's, it's Market strange. changes. It's a, no, it makes a ton of sense. New I just comps, never even new considered comps, that. Like, I wanted 25,000 a piece. Right. Nobody wanted to do that. So it's I'm, impossible okay, to know. So I'll sell them 16 and 17. Within literally a month or two, some of the ones I put out, they were switching hands to 25 or 30. And then, but so they were all not as aesthetically appealing as these. Right. So when those you now keep are 25 the best or 30, ones. then I go, okay, now these are 50. Right. You know? So I wanted 25 for these. Now I can double the price because the other ones that are a little bit lesser. So what do you do? Like when you, you're like, all right, I got to get a couple out to make the price go up, right? Do you like put out one and then you see how it goes and then you go from there? Or like, what do you do? It depends on the moment. It depends on the moment. Yeah. yeah. And who you're selling them to, right? Sure. And like, let's say if I wanted to sell one of these, well, I'd probably call Sasha. It's going to be on social media. Right. You know, something to that effect. Right. Like he has exquisite now. Yeah. So the fact that he now has exquisite going out there. It's going to be a big value. It's, it's going to be a bump, man. Yeah. And it's a true gem. It's got wow, a good voice. You, but you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's now going to be out well, there. Well, because we bought two exquisite yeah, in the last yeah. two days, and yeah. it's all. Yeah, it's going to go out there. I mean, and, and, and eventually it's going to circle. I get it. And get he's going to post it. I'm probably going to share yeah. it. And it's going to go, and I'm going to advocate, like people, like I told Chase that, hey, you know, I'll introduce Sasha, this is my friend, you know, and then I'll encourage them to share his stuff too, mm -hmm. you know, and it'll get out there. Yep. And that's kind of how I do it. It's know? crazy. That's the best way to do it. Yep. Especially if you have a ton of it. Good you job. Expose it. Like somebody said, Eric, if you could buy the BGS 10 Jordan, what would you do? Because I, I, I know I owned one, and I know the guy I sold it to five years ago still has it. Yeah. So I tried to buy it back. And they're like, well, what would you do if you buy it? If I bought it back, I would buy it. I quit working for three months. I would travel the country. I'd go to Burbank Cards, do a book podcast with Sasha. Yeah. I would literally for three months just do one cast after the other, after the other, publicizing. And then I'd send it to Golden. Yeah. You know, so I mean, when, at some point, I don't know, man. It's, I, I try to always implore, implore people to just remember the fun times. I bought this from a 73 year old guy that worked at USPS who's about to retire. And he had four other rare Kobe inserts and he wanted to sell them all. And I bought them all for 7500 and it sold the inserts for 9500 and I got that for free. Unbelievable. And it's just like little things like that, you know? Flipping. So what do you think about MJ right now? It seems like everybody wants it, dude. I don't know. I can't understand. I, it, it went, I know you told me. through the threes, didn't it? He it told, just said 220 400 But even the nines. Like, I know you already told me You told me to sell it, but like. Dude, there's two and a half thousand nines. What's your, what's your logic? How long can this many people be dumped 100 grand per part? Let's say it breaks 100. There's 2,700 of them. That's the thing though, but if collectible and rally and all tens, that about are gonna be buying all the tens, the nines are gonna go crazy. Like an anchor effect. There's so many nines. 
yep. it's going to act like an anchor and it's going to pull the nine. Because let's say the nines hit 100. Yep. Somebody, and it's not like you have to have a lot. And then 10, 20, well, okay, so the 20, time. And just even yeah. 20, 20 is not a lot. But what if 30, I mean 30, what you're talking about, 1%? Yeah. A fraction of a percent of the market, you have 30 of them? Yeah. So I told him what happened with Charizard. Remember when Charizard was popping off the tens? Yeah. The nine went up, but then yeah. the nine went back down. And the the tens kept going up. Yeah, and so that's my. It's that's the same gonna thing. Happen. It's gonna happen. That, I mean, there's not. That's a very good point. I wouldn't wait and be like, ah, oh, it's gotta hit a hundred. I'll sell on the way up. It's easier to sell on the way up than anything. Yeah, if, why when it peaks? It yeah, yeah. You don't. You don't want to be caught holding up on the. Don't chair. be the guy it, waiting for the last one. Went from 30 to no, 60. I know. I know. Well, that's why I sold the LeBron chromes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so. And now I have an extractor. So, I mean, honestly, I can get 75 or 80. I'll let that stuff. I'm going to flip my 8.5. I'm going to try to. Flip it, bro. And then sell if the 9. Make, if you can make 5 or 7 on 8.5, you make 50 on the 9. I mean, sometimes this is real life change of money. I know. 50K is a lot of money. And then go get a Kobe, Kobe Limited logo. Yeah. If I can find one. Yeah. It's going to be 100. What else do I buy? You know? That, there's where I'm at. I can, I can go. Right I can go grade a bunch and put on five days and flip it. Well, but so you're, the re, what drew me to you is you're savvy enough to where you started at the bottom with the grading. Yeah. But I feel like now I'm getting to the point where I, this shit makes a lot of sense to me. The point you need to go back and look at your skills that got you here. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. Looking at raws and re slabbing those to get you back in. No. Oh, yeah. 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 I wish I could do that. Literally, like start over. Yeah, but with a lot bigger bank. Start fresh with a lot yeah, bigger you bank. Have to tear, you oh, you tear just fucking go ham, I go ham again. But didn't I tell you this is the fucking like game? Yeah. The Kobe Auto is a fucking game, cards, dude. I, so I think autograph LeBron rookies. So if you ask me, it's hey, cheap. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think I know. these are the next ones. I know. Watching. That's what. Yeah. Absolutely, that question. I want one bad. Because yeah, bro. I mean, I don't. I see people chasing top scorer of records because that's what everybody else is chasing. But if everything crashed tomorrow went down to zero. Okay, I just, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get it. And the other thing is, like, as those run, like, these haven't gotten their due yet. Yeah. Yeah, I these will get up. hot. So in, in Hawaii, right, you surf on the bodyboard, boogie board. When the wave comes up, you want to be in front of the wave, right? Yeah. You always want to be in front of the wave. Because you get caught up in the wave right behind you, you get hurt. You never want to be chasing the else's wave. You always want to be in front of the wave. Always use that correlation. Let's assume these are LeBron autos. Yeah. Right? Okay. These are the ones you want to focus on. Take a picture of if you want. Yeah. These are way undervalued. These two are the most undervalued. It would go in tier level of value. One, two, three, four. If these were LeBron movies, right? So these are the ones that are probably, as far as like, outside of Ultimate Collections number 215, you have a couple of those. But these are the ones to focus on. You have These are probably some of the most rare, the rookie exclusives. You can find this on LeBron, that's a 9.5 or even a 9. These are way undervalued. What are those run at? Like a pop 19, a pop 20 card. Yeah, Whereas this is like a, right. and LeBron is like, this is uh, pop 60. Yeah. This is pop 60? Um, yeah, 63. That's they made 200 of them. That's a really good card. They made 200 right. of those? Yeah, two, right. First that's pop, fucking pop enough. They made 1,000. This and LeBron is probably like a, uh, I want to say like a pop 80. And this is like a, a pop uh, 127 in LeBron. And this is like literally the lowest, like pop 20, 25. Way anybody. And these, because I think they only made like, 100 or 200 of these LeBron, again, it's like a pop 25. So pop report wise, these are the two rarest of LeBron's, if they were like LeBron's. And these are just the most notable because they made more of them. Right, and that's like the classic design too. Exactly. Right. So like, as I've been watching him and like you got like all you guys, right? Like, to me, it seems like the Kobe thing has gone crazy and LeBron isn't there yet. The comparative autos. to where, yeah, the LeBron autos aren't there yet to where and I think he sits like in the- well, the, in the Jordan team. autos. Right. The reason that is for LeBron is because the influx, because LeBron has a massive following, the influx of people who are new in the industry, and they're basically, there's nothing wrong with it, they're comp junkies, right? What's selling, what's selling, what's selling? Sure. And if you look at historical comps, you might find two or three sales like this that that you could find. And that's not enough stability for somebody to drop 10, 20 grand at you. But yeah. if you're Tops Chrome, Tops Chrome Fractures, it's like this, it's liquid. Like, okay, I got some belief in it, I'm gonna go with that. And then once you have five, 10, 20 people doing that, and it just snowballs that. Same with Prism. Prism was designed for needing to be the trash. Select was supposed to be better, that's actually why they called it Select. Right. They didn't call it Select to be junk. It's right? meant to be a premium product. It's, and it was. But when new people kept jumping in, they started at the bottom. Ironically, they made the bottom a really high end product. Right. That's why Prism has sticker autos, because it wasn't meant to it's be. It's not meant to be, yeah. But that's what's happening top, top chrome, top chrome refractors. So that's why those things are popping. But there's a part of you that's going, well, this is, should be better. That's, you need to listen to that, because that's logic. 
to Where me, the wave. yeah, it's being in front of the wave. And to me, as I'm watching, as I'm watching this Kobe's happen, I'm like, LeBron's not there yet. There's something to that. And if you're saying like 30 on that, I'm like, that seems interesting to me. So there's so much to learn in the industry. It takes a lot of bandwidth, bro. It's a full-time gig, like for real, for real. Just education. I just can't find flaws with it. Dude, that's that's up there, in my opinion, that's their best. That's the most beautiful part of me. Yeah, it's clean. So what do you think I should do with my 7.5? Crack it, bro. Like right now, like yesterday. Send it to BGS? That thing ate fives. A 7.8, seven, seven, yep. Yeah. Different line. So it's the end of the show. Uh, a lot of us are going to be leaving in the morning. So I thought it'd be really cool to just uh, sit down, talk to some of the guys, what they thought about the show, what they expect going in, uh, you know, some cards that they picked up. So I got my good friend Andrew, Nate, and Michael um, over here. And I just wanted to talk, like, any expectations coming in? Like, what did you expect coming in? And then, like, what kind of went down in the weekend? Any gnarly pickups at all? We can start with you, Mike. I was expecting, like, Kobe, LeBron, Jordan, like, that type stuff. Like, Hall of Famers to really catch fire more. So, yeah. this show, I was expecting if you came in with, you know, Zion and Trey Bays, it, it just wasn't going to move. I feel like I kind of saw that. But, so last show, didn't Trey and Lucas stuff, wasn't that, like, really Yeah, like, if you had a Zion PSA 10, that was pretty much better than having Cat. Now, at the show, you know, you couldn't pay someone to take it a little bit below eBay. Especially Luca based things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those are. What was, wasn't there like a low sale on Luca? Like somebody card of eight something Luca based tens at 1100? That's crazy. Yeah, somebody saw it like 11. Today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, That's wow. what I heard. We're still doing 1500 on eBay? Something like that? That was insane. And I, every Jordan auto I had just like sold like that. But you had a bunch of Kobe autos. Yeah, I had a bunch of Kobe autos. There was some interest, but no one was pulling a trigger. I know out of his showcase, he had all the. Kobe exquisites and everything, yeah. and what everyone wanted was the Fleer Jordan, which I thought was the most liquid card of the show. 100%. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Were, there were so many, but at the same time, I know of so many sales it was insane. with Jordan Fleers. I think the PSA 10 on Golden right now is just driving all of them up. I know, me and you were talking like, well then what is an 8.5 become? And that's Every, become. Everything moves yeah. up. Do you think it's because it's like a maturing market? Like, why do you think this played out this way now, and then last show it's all like... A lot, of, a lot of guys are like, they're flipping, they made their money with Zion, Trey, Luca, and now they're they're understanding you gotta buy up Kobe, Jordan, LeBron, you gotta buy up the GOATs. The I, think, I think it's also like you think about last show, like end of November, you know, you didn't really get like the full brunt of the season yet. Yeah. Now again, like who's doing well? You see like the, you know, Luca and the Mavs, you know, some games yeah. they look shaky, Trey Young, like went on a whole cold streak. So I think a lot of that just like tanked in markets. It just like trickles that. down. Did you guys just wait to be this busy though? Like, I, like, this was yeah. my first time going to the, the show. I think last time it was more busy. Yeah, yeah. I last know. time it was, the, especially it was the trade nights last night. Like, last the time the trade nights, nights it seemed like the more. trade nights, nobody was really actually willing to, like, deal. Show if COVID wasn't a thing. Yeah, Everybody yeah. would come. Because okay. there's a lot of people that didn't come because. But I know there's a market boom because of COVID, but yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying. First show felt a lot better in our heads because we hadn't been to a show in forever. Yeah. So that was the first show back. So everybody was willing to just do whatever. Do you think. All this stuff like on the table, like we have like Kobe exquisites, we got you know LeBron Chrome, we got MJ Fleer, like we got some crazy shit, you know, like Kobe Limited logo exquisite. Do you guys think that this stuff would be this expensive right now if it wasn't for COVID? Probably not because people were always on their phones and looking for something to do. Yeah, it uh, definitely boosted the market. Yeah, yeah. any I'll, I just want to get in like what what do you guys pick up? Well, I got an uh, 0405 Limited logo. That's fire. Kobe. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You traded for it. I've been looking for one for a while now. Gotcha. It's just like, yeah, the patch isn't the best, but at this point, it's like, yeah, for real, find a better one. Yeah. It's like I can't personally. I know there's people out there that know. Like, what's your plans with? Yeah, that one I'm gonna hold for a very long time. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it for fifty trade. You should definitely show yours now. And basically, Andy got his at what fifty? At fifty point five. What vintage drought? I think it's the more like most stable thing. You know, like like I said, I took a lot of the profits off of like the modern stuff. Yeah. Um, I got a fifty one Bowman maze. That's nice. It's um, and then a fifty three tops mantle. I was trying to find a fifty one Bowman ma mantle. Yeah. Fifty two tops. You go to a show a year ago. I would have seen like at least ten. 
I saw a baby one in the entire building. So you're feeling good though. You're stoked. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. So what are your plans? Like, are you kind of? Just... I'm probably just gonna hold it. Like, gotcha. I just unless I get blown away. You know, like same with you guys and your stuff. All right, picked up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I picked up this extract. Here. <laughs> I'm stoked on this. So, this was what Friday? Friday morning, like 8:30 a.m. Yeah, I cruised to the back corner, and I was just like, and it was just literally sitting there. I was like, what? The we valued it around 75, and I felt like if I left, somebody would have scooped it up. So I made the play for it, so I'm stoked on that. Uh, and then me and Nady got this bad boy, this 9.5 Exquisite from 2003. Basically, uh, I walk up, look at the card and stuff, and I was interested in it. And I asked the guy, and he's like, somebody offered 55, and I was like, hmm, okay. So afterwards, I'm like, I'm still thinking about it. Walking back, I hit up Sasha. I'm like, hey, Sasha, what do you think I should pay on this? He's like, well, I just offered 55. And I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, all right. Like, I'll back off. Like, you can get it. Yeah, yeah. And then we were just like, well, we could just split it. Yeah. And I mean, we've done this before plenty yeah. of times. We were like, why not? It's always fun to split a card. So we figured we'll offer 60. And then it, it worked out. I mean, first the guy said no. And then afterwards, he hit me up. Kind of at midnight, and at that point, I kind of knew that he wanted to sell it. And then in the morning, we linked up and we got the deal done. Yeah. And he wanted, when he, when, so it was like, yeah, it was midnight, right? When he hit us up, he's like, you bet, like a you up text type thing. <laughs> and it literally was. And then, uh, I mean, I think it came at 62, and we're like, bro, we're giving you 60. I mean, what's the difference? Two K. Exactly. Like... Uh, and like, you know, you talk about to a lot of the Kobe guys, and they're like, you're paying very strong on it. So we said at 60, man, it was able to make it happen. And yeah, I'm really stoked on it. I mean, it's yeah. a true gem. It's the highest, highest grade, I believe, right? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. it's the highest grade. I mean, I picked up the 7.5 on Thursday. Yep. And I was stoked on it. So then when I saw the 9.5, I was like, what the fuck? So <laughs> I'm stoked on that. Guys, we got Lou now and Adam in the house. Appreciate it. Talk, talk, talk. Shout out to them. Anything you wanted to like, shout out what you picked up uh, this um, weekend? I spent a lot of time getting destroyed on deals, so I didn't do a ton of pickups this weekend. I came away very motivated to make some plays. I also didn't pick much up because I'm looking for vintage basketball, but I'm seeing like so much shift from a more common modern to like this super high end stuff, and I think it's definitely a good move, you know, moving in the right direction. Any expectations coming to the weekend? What do you, what do you think the show's going to be like, and then how it kind of turned out? I didn't come to the last Dallas show, yeah. so I like, you know, I brought Luca and well, I brought most of my trade stuff, expecting like, you know, the stuff to fly, you know, Luca stuff to fly in Dallas, and it just really wasn't like it. Literally, um, literally we saw a lot of yeah. super high, like, you know, Jordan yeah. rookies going the more iconic and, you know, stuff that's, you know, Kobe patch autos, yeah. LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, um, and you saw a lot of the modern stuff kind of sitting and being stale. Even though these guys are performing well, you know, it's just not the stuff isn't going up. At the same rate it used to. MJ three times are going crazy right now. Oh, oh my god. What is that? Okay, we got both both of them before the buyer's premium are five hundred. Oh which my. Is, which is six hundred after the twenty percent. Bro. Oh my so god. you know what? these are probably gonna That's close. Confirmed. These are probably gonna close seven hundred, seven fifty. Next one. Oh million my god. The rest. It's done. And one the of them, one of them looks like a PSA eight. So. The game is over. So this is it. This is the peak of Jordans. Is or, it? or that's what we thought of the doc documentary, wasn't it? When they were freaking yeah. 50k? It's 60. Yeah. 9 is 60. 9, nine, nine is sold tonight too. I'm going to give before Mario's premium numbers. 9.5 min gem did 66,000. Sold. That's Over. cheap. That's real cheap. CGS 9, 33k. PSA 9's two sold. Both over, um, before premium. One at 48, one at 45. So you're talking like mid to high 50s. It's not. That doesn't really make sense. And then 8's closed at 16. So I think that like people are like, you know, the 10's yeah. obviously on yeah. like, the crazy the premium. Goal. You know, crazy. The 8 makes sense. I think the 9 went cheap. 8 sounds The 9 eight buys, sounds that min gem sounds cheap. Maybe there's like a gap. Well, it's 80. Like, you know, well, are we seeing the, the Charizard play here? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Maybe there's like a gap. The, the multi-millionaires just want a 10 and then the people that be they're not going to want a nine. At least two or three people who see that and they go, I'd rather have a half a million dollars than this the next. Yeah. The next round of nines and nine fives, that's the thing to look at. I agree. As a or because, because the nines, because then now it's a reaction sales, to that. These sales, nines and the nine five, that's not a reaction to the tens. It's exactly. So it's just yeah. normal, yeah, exactly. It's just a regular sale. Exactly. And it goes up and it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense compared to my bad. It doesn't make sense compared to that. 100%. Somebody yeah. offered me 60 for my nine two okay. days ago. I saw a cash deal go down for a nine, didn't know what the amount was. 
LeBron Chrome one eleven PSA ten. And they're selling, they're liquid. Like even here, people are buying them, right? People are buying them at mm. twenty seven. I'm seeing like twenty seven, twenty eight right, cash but price. But that's you know, I'd rather do that than put mine up on that thirty two on eBay. Oh of course. But, but I feel like people are looking at like, oh, LeBron's rookie card is at twenty seven, thirty thirty three. That should be where Jordan's tent is at, where they don't understand what Jordan but, is. But you have to think there's different variations. Yeah, there's different factors. Why does this make it? Or or like, that, say, not not only that, but like... There's only one how, Fleer. There's only one Jordan. But if you're looking at the percentage, like let's say Chrome versus Fleer, yeah. like the percent of Jordan Fleer tens is like nothing. And then, yeah. you know, what, like 20, 20 30 percent of yeah. LeBron Chrome's tens? Yeah. And then I think Jordan so is like under one percent by far. Let's say 30 for that LeBron Chrome. Isn't that so long? It's a ton. Well, that. because the thing about it is it makes the black refractor, the X factor, everything else cheap. cheap. Because right. Jordan, like, like we all know, cheap. it's just one iconic card. Do you yeah. think those people care though? I don't, I don't know, think they realize. I don't. I think the people buying it at 30 aren't going to be selling it tomorrow. They're, 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 they're holding it for 15 years. Yeah. No, they're holding it for 10 years. 10, 15 years. I mean, the Jordan, the LeBron Pro. Or they don't need to sell it because they're. Two, like, I don't think somebody who's buying that at 30k is like struggling for money. Of course. You know what I mean? One more question just to wrap it up. Next show is happening in what? March? March. What do you think we'll see my flare tents running at, at that time? And also, what do you think is going to be hot during that next show? Anything high end, exquisite, maybe vintage? We could say whatever the flavor of the week that is. Then. It's literally the flavor of the week. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard to predict. I would have never guessed a Fleer Jordan right now would be the hottest card at the show. Me either. I thought it was Kobe's. Our industry like moves so fast. We're like we could see in the next two months a big dip in Jordans and then a big rise. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, oh yeah, they probably like seven fifty after going a million and down to five hundred. Um, it's like literally right. I mean, our our industry is different. Next week, you know, never mind two months. Yeah. Um, I think the high end stuff like. This Jacoby stuff, LeBron Jordan stuff, it's gonna stay at the top. Yeah. Um, but we're also gonna be close to the playoffs in the NBA. You know, yeah. we're gonna have a better feeling of who's an MVP, who's a playoff team, and that always drives prices. Do you guys see Luca prices going up? Like, well, the base I stuff. think there's too much money in it for it not for like to just tank. I feel like it's gonna at least stay where it is. I don't think it goes lower. I think it goes down because I think two reasons. One, I think a lot of guys are getting out right now. Two, they're not. If if they do make the playoffs, they're not gonna get out the first round. A lot of people don't right now. Look at teams that don't win players. Even the people who have like you know like the forty fifty like thousand dollar cards, the like believers, they're yeah. trying to break. They're trying to break it down or do something with it, liquidate it, and yeah. just something else. It's like, I mean, not, not necessarily that Luca sucks. It's just that there's, the there's so many. It's just too there's hard. better options to liquidate your Luca into someone else. Well, I appreciate everybody kind of jumping in, talking about the show. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I've we'll been fresh like Will Smith since 94, and I built this. Stressed out, X out, missed calls from my ex now, but I'm staying focused in the lab, baby. I don't need your calls or your text now. God say the boy blessed now. Who am I to say Rondo? And the way that I sell six, they've been calling me Rondo. 23 in my prime, though. Finna ball like Lonzo. Go and tell everybody talking, say you better be in that convo, uh.